I'm Aaron Raw, and you're watching Atheist Edge. Oh. Hi, welcome to Atheist Edge. I'm Courtney, Chris, and TJ, um, and we're hot off the heels of our uh, marshmallow oh, trivia, oh, um, Ask an Atheist Marshmallow Test. Uh, go, uh, watch that whenever it comes out, if it comes out before or after, I don't know, but um, Either I'm stay some tuned apple pie. or go back and watch. Yeah, yeah. either stay tuned. Yeah. Mm. Um, so we are doing our uh, 15th installment of trivia, and um, we haven't seen these yet, so um, hopefully we don't mess them up. Um, Chris, you want to start with number one? I All guess right. since I have it. Question number one, what was the name of the laws, some of which still persist today, that were designed to impose the observance of the Sabbath onto non-Christians? Oh. Is mm. it A, gold laws, B, blue code, C, green laws, or D, blue laws? Hmm. Read the next one. Alrighty. Number two. The first chapter of which book? says you should not invite an atheist into your home. Is it A, Timothy, B, 2 John, C, 1 Corinthians, or D, Matthew? Mm -hmm. I got stuff all over my fingers. All right. Number three, who was the slave girl that Abraham knocked up because his wife was barren? <laughs> That's nice. Um, nice terminology there, by the way, Jim. Hey, that's from the original Hebrew. <laughs> this that is, knocked up is the... This is biblical. It's is, the, is the wording, the correct etymology of it. Yes. Um, a. Hagar? Is that what that is? Is that what that says? Hagar. Hagar? Okay. A. Hagar. Sounds like... Hagar? That's, a, that's from that's from Dear Party Readers. Only. That's what like, the guy called uh, Hagrid in the, the Dear Readers Harry Potter. Check that out. Oh. Um, so A. Hagar. B. Sarah. C. Bathsheba, um, and D. Rachel. That's a lovely passage of the Bible. You wonder why, like, Sarah and Rachel made it to today as girls' names, but Hagar and Bathsheba just... <laughs> uh, yeah, why are there no ha Hagars and Bathshebas yeah. being named There's 19 different today. spellings of Caitlin, but no Bathshebas. Yeah, seriously. It's Amy, A-I-M-E-E. -E. <laughs> As, as Jim dies in the background. <laughs> Number four! That's the end of Atheist Edge once Jim is dead. That is what yeah, we're done after this. He, Jim died, sorry. Uh, this is the end of the channel. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and number four. Leviticus says blank are not allowed to attend religious services. Is it A, the blind, B, thieves, C, the handicapped, or D, liars? Interesting. Wow. Yeah. I'm surprised there's not an option that says, like, all of the above. Like women or something? <laughs> no one yeah. can attend the service. No strong, women. Strong women. Strong women. Yeah. No, no Wonder Woman at our service. All right. So, number five. Ooh. Oh, well, this. Raping a woman will cost you how many pieces of silver? Oh, God. <laughs> Is it A, 50, B, 75, C, 100, or D, 150? Don't know oh. if I have yeah. a whole lot to say yeah. about Look, that. No snarky commentary. No, I don't need to. I don't, just... Probably don't need to like yeah. tie my own rope on that one. <laughs> Number six. <clears throat> In which state's constitution is it legal for an atheist to run for public office? B. Alabama. A. Sorry. A. Alabama. <laughs> B. Arkansas. C. Maryland. Or D. Texas. Should be all of them. Number seven. Uh, get your calculators out, people. How many people did God kill for the crime of looking in a box? Spe <laughs> specifically, the box of the. Do, do you know which Ark box? of the Covenant? No. I know what box you think it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pandora is in Greek mythology. I mean, no. come on. I was thinking about the movie. The, bo you were the about. box. No. The seven. box. No, that, yeah, seven. <laughs> What's in the box? What's in the box? Oh, God. <laughs> such a good movie. It's question seven. It is his question <laughs> seven. <laughs> wow. It's, it's like it's a sign. Yeah. Wow. That it, is, is, it is fate. That's remarkable. Yeah. Oh, God. How, how many? <laughs> 
So how many people did God kill for this crime? Was it A, 3,000, B, 30,040, C, 40,040, or D, 50,000 plus 70? Seems kind of arbitrary. I was, about, I was just about to say, like, doesn't that seem like just pretty arbitrary? Like, yeah. whatever number, right? Like, it's almost like it's fake. Whatever, see, yeah, whatever seems, yeah, it's almost like it was just like made up. <laughs> All right, so number eight. Which method did the Vatican use to facilitate the escape of Nazi war criminals to South America? Oh, yeah. Very good point. So, is it A, the rat lines? B, Buck Root, C, The Dark Road, or D, Pope's Folly? Well, or e, I don't know what or e, e, shitty are. people. Yeah, <laughs> seems seems pretty obvious that the, either way you slice, any way you slice it, there. That's they all sound like who's a, worse, the Nazis or the ones that protect them? They all yeah. sound like Kentucky Jeez. Derby horses. <laughs> like, like I got, I got, I got fifty down on Pope's Folly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> and seventy-five on Fuck Route. <laughs> That's funny. Number nine, which is not a description of heaven: A. Mountains, B. Diamond roads, C. Golden buildings, or D. No sun or stars. <laughs> well, messing with the flow, Chris. Number ten. Approximately how many Hebrews escaped Egyptian bondage? Allegedly. A, 800,000. Is it B, 1 million? Is it C, 1.8 million? Or is it D, 2 million? By the way, no historically, historical archaeological evidence for anybody ever being enslaved as Hebrews by the Egyptians. But yes, we're going to go by what the Bible may or may not say about the subject. And, 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 for, and for bonus points, how many Egyptians did not escape? Because they found they were kind of into Egyptian bondage. <laughs> they were kind of into the bondage? <laughs> That's funny shit. So, A, two? <laughs> post your guesses in the comments section. And the answers will be in the description of the next video, which will be trivia number 16. Yep. All right. Toodles. Thank you. All right, hey guys. Uh, so uh, we're, we're doing an episode of the show. What we're going to be talking about is we had uh, Courtney who had the opportunity to speak to a Christian AM radio talk show yeah. uh, recently. So she's going to give us all the information uh, about how that went and uh, what she got to talk about and um, and all that. So I'm going to give it over to her and let her Yeah, so I'm, I'm just, just trying it. to find the radio. So it's, it's an AM radio uh, station called uh, KHVN, and uh, from noon to 2, um, this... I guess he's a doctor, uh, Dr. Robert Ashley. Um, he does this segment, Community Forum, with Robert Ashley. And, um, and he called us uh, during the, the lead-up to the protest. Um, and being the spokesperson for the protest, I, uh, I responded to his uh, voicemail. Um, and they invited me on, and that was really fun. <laughs> uh, it was actually really, really productive. And I don't know if we can get a recorded version of it. Um, I don't think we can post it on the YouTube channel because uh, there are rules around monetization and things like that. So we may be able to get permission from them if we demonetize that video and, and uh, run through all the legal hoops to get it posted on, on here uh, for the audio. But it was such a productive conversation and it was really, really good. Um, I think our one of our former presidents of Metroplex Atheists uh, went on a religious radio station a long time ago and uh, they were really nice for a few minutes, and then they just called him like some really derogatory name and hung up. And, uh, and so I was kind of nervous about going on this show. Um, but it's a 24-hour gospel radio station um, and primarily uh, black community gospel. Um, so I was not sure what I was getting into at all. But this guy seemed really uh, you know, nice, and that's apparently the MO of radio stations, whether or not they're actually going to be nice. Um, 
but so went on and and they were they were actually uh, supporters of free speech and supporters of of the perspective that we took on the protest so that was good um and the protest uh, again just, just for the the viewers if they're not if they haven't watched any of the other videos yeah. protest the protest that yeah, you're so, speaking of yeah protest was uh pastor jeffress gave a sermon um recently on uh america being a christian nation and so we wanted to go and protest the falsehood of that uh, assertion. Um, and so that was a really productive day, and it went really, really well. Um, there are parts of our channel that have uh, have my announcement about the protest, what the protest was and what it wasn't. That was very important. Um, and, uh, and, and we have a lot of video of, of being there uh, with Aaron Ra. I, I did an interview with him, and TJ and I did some stuff as well. Um, and uh, there will be some on Aaron's channel as well. Um, but anyway, so Gospel Station, it was really, really fun. Um, they asked, they, they brought up the scripture of uh, um, basically atheism being foolish, um, which was interesting. And, uh, and I, I did say that I had heard that before and that many religions have um, negative things to say about non-believers. Uh, and I basically made it about, made my response about there being so many religions um, and, uh, and that there isn't an objective way to know which one is true just because you were born in a certain time in a certain place. Um, and I brought up Thor because I kind of want to clear up this thing because when, when, we talk, when atheists talk about Thor, uh, we are talking about a legitimate deity that people used to believe in just as strongly as, as they do in Yahweh today, um, and, and Islam and Buddhism. So um, a lot of Christians, when they hear us mention Thor, they think we're being facetious. They think that we're talking about some obviously fictional character that's never been believed in that way, but that's not the case. Um, so I, I wanted to kind of clear that up, and I mentioned that about, you know, a lot of people don't know, or I guess a lot of believers don't know that Thor used to be believed in just as strongly as the gods of today, and it's a perfect example of, of you know, why is it that we need to believe in something just because it's popular in our time and place? Um, so that was really a really productive conversation. So this being um, a, it sounds like this was a different kind of uh, sect of Christianity, or maybe a different uh, approach in Christianity from a different angle than Jeffress's church may, uh, normally. Do you feel like they were on board with Jeffress's message of America as a Christian nation, or did they have kind of their own questions about it? Um, I think that they they just wanted to ask us what our position on it was, um, and ask us some ask me some some other questions just about general atheism, and then he opened it up to callers, which was really <laughs> crazy. Um, did you get to answer any questions? Yes, That's, I did. Um, it was really funny. It was like it was like you know, our uh, how can atheists be moral? And it was really interesting. Uh, it was really fun to be able to kind of have a little sparring match with a lot of those. Great those... opportunity, though. Sounds like yeah, it was great. So um, and uh, and hopefully later today we'll we'll answer some of those questions with marshmallows in our mouths. Oh, really yeah, fun. that's great. We're going to do that. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, some fun stuff coming up probably in a, one of the subsequent videos. Yeah, um, I don't know when, when that one will come out, but uh, <laughs> but we're probably going to get to that at some point soon. So that'll be fun. Um, and uh, and so it, it, was, it was so much better than I expected because I didn't expect for them to uh, be very silent while I was talking. <laughs> and to let me completely finish my idea and wait for me to pause to speak. And I just didn't, you know, I, I'm so used to this, like, Fox News, Sean Hannity kind of stepping on words you. and, yeah, like stepping on words and, and completely straw manning whatever your argument is and, and making you kind of flustered and frustrated and, you know, because if you're being talked over so much and you're trying to get your point out and then they hit you with three other different questions that are like, why, um, then it, you're going to get flustered and annoyed. And, and, and then they, as soon as you start to make a good point, they just cut you off and end the segment. And, and that, this was nothing like that. I got to say everything that I wanted to say. Um, I didn't feel like I was rushed or uh, spoken over or mischaracterized. And as soon as I finished a, a response, they just 
went a different question with a whole different thing. Like they just let me have my response. They didn't even respond to it. Um, so I was really pleasantly surprised with the, the cordial professionalism that I found with this station. Um, and it, it, it went really, really well. So hopefully I can get that to you guys and people can hear it. Uh, well, I'd be interested in, if we have time to talk more about the callers, what kind of questions you got from the, the, the unprofessional yeah. <laughs> people on there. Yeah, well, uh, one caller was a religious person, but he absolutely loved th that we protested Jeffress's message. Really? Um, and yeah, two of them did. Two callers were saying, yeah, this is not a Christian nation, um, that part of our freedom as Christians is dependent on this not being a Christian nation. And it was awesome. And I was like, I, and so they an said it, problem. they said it for me. And then I just was able to just be like, absolutely, you know? And that, yeah, I agree 100% with what this guy said. And so that was the first two callers. And I was like, oh, you know, <laughs> what am I on? And then the, um, and so there were a couple callers. Uh, we only got to a few because I was only on there for 20 minutes. Um, We're going to get Courtney on Atheist Experience answering callers next. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> How the hell are we going to do that? I don't know. <laughs> Matt they've, had so many, they've had so many like crazy like guest hosts, though, that well, maybe, show. Well, maybe now I've got enough credentials to, maybe. to make it They just had Seth show. Andrews, so. They just had <gasps> Seth on. Ooh. Yeah. I, I'd love to see them do Richard Carrier. I think they have. They've done Richard Carrier. I think they've done Carrier. Um, about and we get to yeah. do carrier. <laughs> yeah, but um, you know, it, it'd be great if we could get some like you know email questions from believers or whatever, um, or you know just from our listeners whether they're believers or not. Um, but yeah, it was really really fun, and uh, and I, I didn't, I really loved the uh, the exposure I got to to put out there of this very different way of looking at the world that we have versus the listeners. Um, and it, it's just such a one-sided argument in their mind of, of religion is Christianity altogether, and it's, it's correct by default. And me coming in and being able to say, you know, this is, this is something that's one among so many that there's no way we can know. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I reiterated multiple times that that I respect their right to believe what they want, and I respect that they have their beliefs, and I think that that's totally fine. Um, but that this country is is supportive of that, and also supportive of the right to abstain from religious belief, and that's um, that's something that that we were protesting. Any final thoughts that, that you wanna you wanna try to explore on? On her experience mm -hmm. here? Or? I think I'm all set. All right, we can put a bow I, um, on this if you want. Do you will, have anything else? I will be uh, on the show again, though, uh, on the radio show. They invited cool. me back, and, and I would love to do it again. Unfortunately, uh, the broadcast, if you guys ever want to hear it, um, it's, it's on between noon and 2 p.m., and I work uh, on Monday through Friday. And I work Monday through Friday until 3 p.m. So, yeah. um, in order for me to be on the show, I have to I have to request to like take a break early and like go sit in a back room while I'm at work in my work clothes, like on the phone. And oh, so, you did it while you were on. Uh, I did it at work. work. Okay. I did it. Yeah. And, yeah, you and so, do what you gotta do. Yeah. So right? I just skipped I mean, out of work, and they got me on the show, and I'm like, all right, guys, I'm gonna go for a second, and I just off for 20 minutes. I like nice. sat and. Did this so um so it's 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 a challenge for me to be on the show at the time that it is um I don't know if they're gonna air the show on Fourth of July but I will be off that day and so mm. I hope that I can get on the show then awesome um and so maybe if you guys can tune in uh, so yeah I was gonna say that so as we're wrapping this up let us know one one more time what it is. What the, what the station is that you're going to be on, and uh, we'll try to get everybody yeah, it's to a, tune in. It's KHVN uh, Heaven. It's a gospel uh, show. If you go to uh, khvnam.com, um, then you can live stream it, and wow. you don't have to find it on the radio. Um, so you don't have to, I don't know the number. Uh, there you go. But uh, so you can live stream it. Uh, you kind of download the, the app, too, to be able to do it. So you might want to you know start doing that before you start. Um, but uh, it, it's between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. I think last time I got on around 1.30 p.m. Okay. until the end of the segment. So I was on there for a solid 20 minutes, and it was really, really So the really show cool. is KHVN. It's noon to 2, and it's mm -hmm. 9 a.m. 9.70. 
Is that what it is? I think so. It's AM nine. So AM 970. Tune in. Uh, our very own Courtney from Atheist Edge is going to be uh, a future guest at some point on the show again. Mm -hmm. So everybody out there watching, uh, thanks for watching and uh, listen and uh, participate. Call in if you want and show some support. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. Atheist Edge. So that particular form. <laughs> one yeah, ring to rule them all. Yes, exactly. The one ring. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my God, man. <laughs> Walking the edge of what some consider offensive. But your feelings don't matter here. Only facts. Edgy commentary on the dangers of doctrine, the foibles of faith, the bullshit of belief, the stupidity of superstition, and the idiocy of indoctrination. And this guy is just full of fucking like witty, like witty fucking... With razor sharp wit, curiosity and critical thought, we take an unblinking look at today's religions. We are Atheist Edge.